Post Malone is an American rapper, singer, songwriter. I, I don't listen to Post Malone. Uh, I do enjoy that new record, Rockstar. That's what it's called, right? Yes. Uh, mostly for the beat, the hook in 21 Savage verse, but I don't listen to Post Malone. Uh, I don't feel him. Never have, probably never will. He's just not my cup of mayonnaise. Post Malone, are we here for him starting a label? Oh, my God. Post Malone is trash, man. Post Malone, fuck out of here. Ma -ma 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 mayonnaise Music Group. That's going to be the name of his fucking label. <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen yo, to Post Malone. Yo, oh I my hate, God. I hate Post Malone. I don't fuck with Post Malone. He is the perfect. And this is his debut album, by the way. So, you know, you've heard the mixtapes and everything. Mm -hmm. Did you listen to it? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. I might, though. What do you mean, absolutely not? You might like it. <laughs> you might like it. I might, though. Somebody did recommend it. I'm lying. Yeah. <laughs> you tweeted once that, um, I don't know. I don't follow you on Twitter. Do. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, the new album, Stoney, is in stores right now. Well, we really don't have nothing else to talk to you about <laughs> because, um, you know, you got one record that we know of. Yeah. White Abyssin. Are you and Post Malone really beefing? So I actually, I actually, uh, Post is, Post is like the homie now. We actually like went back and forth Post on Twitter. Post is trash, but go ahead. <laughs> um, I mean, he's number one. Still trash. You can be number one and still be trash. Numbers don't lie, bro. He's trash, bro. Numbers do lie sometimes. Numbers don't tell a hotel. All right, well. Yeah. He doesn't like posts, as you can see. Trash. Posty. Wait, you don't trash. like Post Trash. You don't like Post Malone. I think he's trash. There we go. Okay, so let's talk about that. Why? I think he's trash. Um, I didn't like his interview he did with Rolling Stone. Uh, what I did he I, say? I, I felt oh, like, that was a bad one. Yeah, I think he sounded like very arrogant, you know, uh, very entitled. I didn't like how he shitted on Justin Bieber because Justin Bieber's got his life together. No, I, but I don't think... like his attitude either. I don't. I didn't like what he said about uh, Justin Bieber and that new Rolling Stone magazine. Cause like you know Justin was doing so bad for so long, and now that he's doing good, like don't don't try to shit on the establishment that helped him turn his life around. That's why. Think about that. Think about what kind of world we live in when when Justin Bieber was getting in all of this trouble and was pissing in buckets and doing drugs and getting arrested. We was killing him. He got That's his true. life together. He was back on the charts with records and everything. That's true. So I didn't like how Post Malone was in the interview shitting on that. Like I mean, they get mad because I have braids, but you know. I like the way it looks. Or, they get mad because I got uh, gold teeth or whatever. I, I like the way that it looks. You know, or, it's not. I'm not trying to bite off anybody or anything. I'm just trying to. A year and a half ago, when I got my first braids, we, um, cornrows. So, yeah, some lady did them. Yeah. FYI, I think all white people with cornrows look stupid, but that has nothing to do. <laughs> no, that's nothing cool. to do with you. I just I mean, think in general. Big. Then he don't respect the culture. Like if that's he had, if he, if he had more respect for the culture and actually appreciated hip hop and talked like he appreciated hip hop, I would probably I respect it. him more. But when he says shit like, "When you want to feel something, don't listen to hip hop." Fuck out of here. We don't listen to your hip hop when we want to feel something. Stupid ass. It's true. You know he he gives me tickets. Can you get Charlemagne tickets? Yeah, I mean if you're nice. I'm going me. Sunday. They gotta go with each other. Y'all gotta go with each other. Like Let's next go. to each other in the game. Nah, no. Are you if you're no, I don't dislike you, but you I don't like the smell of beer and cigarettes. Post. And Post Malone smells like every beer and every cigarette that's in whatever convenience store in New York City right now. Mm. I only smoke camels though right now, so. <laughs> I don't, I don't smell like, you no smell like a country singer. I don't smell like no Marlboro. It's the new nothing. Kid Rock right here, ladies How and gentlemen. How was the evolution from when you first? Post Malone needs a motherfucking shower. He needs he a goddamn extra shower. shower. I don't like his music either. I like Rockstar. Rockstar's a good record, but I like it because of the beat in 21 Savage. No, you won't. I do. I don't. What is what Post even saying on that record? Yo, I don't even understand how how you are this successful and this biased. I'm not biased. You think Post Malone is a dope artist? Yes. Why? And they always be calling me to do, like they always asking me questions about Post Malone. I forgot who called me the other day, some magazine. I'm like, I don't fuck with that shit. Like, like no disrespect to him. God well, bless him. I'm saying with all disrespect, fuck Post Malone. Like, <laughs> like I really, I really don't like white people in the culture that don't re respect that don't respect the, the culture. culture. Word is born. Fuck you for that, Post Malone. Yeah. I read an interview Post Malone did with Rolling Stone magazine. Now here's the thing about interviews: you cannot like an artist and read an interview they did where they seem to be like a really nice person, and based off them seeming like a nice person, you may go check out whatever it is they pushing. This Rolling Stone interview with Post Malone is not that. After reading this Rolling Stone interview, not only is his music not my cup of mayonnaise, but neither is his personality. Actually, that album that Justin Bieber was on, it wasn't a bad album. It shocked me from Post Malone. So, and then I met him. And when I met him, he was a really good guy. And yeah. had really great energy. So I was like, damn, I feel like a fucking dick. You're making good music. Just Why am I holding this against you? You know who else is like that too? Who? You know whack artists can be nice people. 
second. And then Rolling Stone, he says he wished he would have said, what are you doing for Black Lives Matter? Some sassy stuff to shut him up. Charlemagne is not a good person. He hates me because I'm white and I'm different, but we're still rocking and we're still successful and he can't stop it. Rolling Stone reached out to Charlemagne the God for comment and Charlemagne replied, I don't dislike Post Malone because he's white. I dis dislike Post Malone because he's whack, end quote. He's proven that he has He's proven that he belongs there. He's been consistent. And yeah. I kind of feel like that about Post, so I'm not going to get him out of here like y'all keep getting him out of here. I think Post is whack. Fuck, I, it's just something about his energy. I don't rock He looked like Bubba Sparks' kid. When White Iverson came out, I hated Post Malone. Trash. See, the thing with Post Malone, which I find ironic, is that when he told Rolling Stone, if you're looking for lyrics, if you're looking to cry, if you're looking to think about life, don't listen to hip-hop, he's describing himself. Okay, he should have said, if you're looking for lyrics, if you're looking to cry, if you're looking to think about life, don't listen to Post Malone. Because for you to call out hip-hop for not having lyrics just makes you a hypocritical ass honky. A contradictory ass cracker. So Post, if you want more lyrics, you want music that makes people cry, you want music that makes people think about life, then go create it. But you can't. Because you're not capable of doing it. Because you're not as talented as you think you are. You got the nerve to say people in hip-hop aren't really saying nothing. Bruh, you not really saying nothing. You. You got, you got, you, how you a nappy headed white boy? I don't know, man. It's, it's, the, it's the Native American in me. Terrible messaging. I, what? what? All those cigarettes. Oh, I didn't smoke those. <laughs> the kids might <laughs> post. Jesus Christ. And December 14th. People always tweet me like, yo, you were so hard on Post Malone. How? We had a conversation. Like, well, you did say that he was going to lose his girl, but she's and still she's here. here. He yeah, you know. He lost it for a brief second. What? He lost it for a moment. I mean, you got a girlfriend, don't you? Yeah, yeah, she's right, right there. What? Ashlyn right here. Yeah, she's right oh, there. Oh, hey, Ashlyn. How are you? You know he's going to end up leaving you, right? The oh, most don't famous say that. That's not true. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you, know, you know the most successful you get, you're going, you know. Is that, know. Is that a fair of yours, Ashlyn? I want to keep this for when he breaks up with you. I'm going to give him donkey oh, today. Uh, but not keeping it real with his on, girl. Man. So you waited until he got hot and then decided, you know what? Let me get on him now before, right before he signs his deal. I don't know, Ash. Ashlyn. This is what y'all should do, threesomes. A lot of couples is working for it's a lot it's working for a lot of couples. You keep him out of trouble because you don't want him to end up catching no rape charge or get no girl pregnant, catch a STD. So if you're picking the girls, you're like, no, she's a good one. We can do this together. Have you ever thought about that? Uh, no. Not mm. so Two on one. Man, y'all leave her alone. <laughs> Two, you don't want to bother her in the game. <laughs> Two on one. <laughs> you know he's going to sleep with other women, though. You do know that. You're, are, you, are you aware of that? He's in what? He's gonna sleep with other women. No, I'm not. No, I'm you try, not. You trying to give me trouble? No, we had Diddy up here the other day, and Diddy talked about the 75%, 25% rule. 75% of the time, you're gonna be a great boyfriend, loving, <laughs> caring, be mm -hmm. there for her. But the other 25%, you're gonna have your dick in the dirt. I'm a good boy. Well, this is what I want you to do. I want you to read the YouTube comments on this video after it's posted. Yeah. And when you see a bunch of guys saying that they've been with Ashlyn, you're gonna be oh, like, stop it. That's <laughs> not gonna happen. Stop it, man. That's not gonna happen. How much you wanna bet? I don't know. But that's usually what happens. Whenever you bring your girl and put her in the public eye, it's about five guys. She may have only slept with five guys in her life. All those five guys are gonna post on YouTube and be like, I had that. Everywhere. Post, listen to me, let me structure this for you. Oh You're God. not gonna want her everywhere. Eventually, you want her your boys everywhere. are gonna get tired of it. Your boys will be like, yo, does she have to come everywhere? You don't want her <laughs> everywhere. Trust me, it's early. I'm the singer. You still in the I'm the singer, I'll do whatever you I want. You might want her there everywhere. <laughs> You're still listen, in the listen, listen, phase. listen, 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 listen. <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not a normal person. What does that mean, Post? I'm a weirdo. I'm a, no, I'm a not. different type of man. Right. Not, Come here, I'm Ashley. A... Ashley. Oh, no, 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 no. You gotta get her name right. That's okay. Ooh. That's okay. She's like, he's like, no, no, no. Post no. Malone laying that penis game down <laughs> mean. When he tell you to stay, you stay. No. Ashley, don't fall for that. That's all right. That's all right. This interview's for him. That's all right. Let's talk about the music. No, she's super dope. She's super dope. Beautiful young lady. Super dope. Stop Isn't she it. beautiful? <laughs> Ash, is she beautiful? Yeah. She said yes. <laughs> yes. Right. So you're not allowed to even like acknowledge that girls are beautiful? You didn't say she was beautiful. <laughs> so you have to ask Ashley like stuff like that? I mean, when she's in the room. Right. Ooh, <laughs> but when she's not around. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't let Charlamagne get you. Oh, no, nah, I know. We've had some fun times with Justin Bieber. Yeah, he, yeah, man, he got cool mad us. girls in the studio. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Mad drugs, oh, mad stuff. alcohol. She's a little you never been over probably. there? Oh, oh, in the studio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I mean, not really. You never been in the studio yeah. with him with a bunch of girls? No, yeah. I mean, not really. Are you it's trying just, to make huh? his girlfriend mad at him or something? <laughs> 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 what this is about? It begins again. It begins again. Freaking out. But Did you feel gay? No. Okay. I never felt gay. Do you ever watch it now, like over and over, like, yo? 
know it's mad funny. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. <laughs> that I never felt gay. What does gay feel like? <laughs> you tell me. Oh, oh, you tell me. What does gay feel like? <laughs> and you got a Kid Rockish vibe. You so know what are you saying? Kid Rock has kind of let us down because Kid Rock came up off hip hop and he was around a lot of black people. And then he just became like the most super conservative, F you, build the wall around everybody person out here. Oh, that's wild stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm.